Hello everyone, and welcome to my channel. Please subscribe and uh, hit the like button. I appreciate it. Well, if you just want to visit, I appreciate that. So thank you for coming. Uh, this was November 17th. Like I said, I'm, I'm a, a week behind here. Yes, a little over a week behind, actually. Uh, a judge just issued a ruling that will blow the floodgates wide open on Biden's border crisis. The situation at the southern border is a disaster. We've all known that. But it's about to get much worse. Now there's pictures in here, but for some reason they're not showing. So I have to scroll past what would be a picture down to the next line. Because a judge just issued a ruling that will blow the floodgates wide open on Joe Biden's border crisis. Joe Biden is the most pro-open borders president in American history. <clears throat> As former President Donald Trump secured the border, got a handle on illegal immigration, President Biden went to work reversing all of his successful policies the moment he took the oath of office. And yes, he did. He sure did. Biden halted construction on the border wall that was begun under the Trump administration. He also ended Trump's successful Remain in Mexico protocol, brought back the dangerously ineffective catch and release program. Since February of 2021, the Biden regime has caught and released a staggering 1.4 million illegal aliens into communities across the country. And this doesn't include the more than 600,000 illegal aliens who are known to have successfully crossed the border without being apprehended by authorities fiscal year 2022. Even more terrifying than nearly 1.5 million illegal aliens roaming free is the fact that far too many of them have criminal records and or pose a danger to American citizens. <clears throat> During a House Homeland Security Committee hearing on Tuesday, Representative Kat Kamak, Kamak, a Republican of Florida, I hope I'm pronouncing that right, please forgive me if I'm not, grilled Biden Homeland Security Secretary Ali Rodro Mayocas over the roughly 1.4 million illegal aliens released into the country. In fiscal year 2022, you have now released 1.4 million into the United States. And my question to you now is, can you guarantee that none of those people have criminal records? Kamak asked Mayor Kuss, yet he refused to answer directly. <clears throat> but the Biden border crisis is about to even get worse after a left-wing judge handed down a ruling striking down Title 42 Dash, a COVID-era policy that allowed authorities to swiftly deport illegal aliens in the name of public health. Although Secretary Mayorkas has essentially refused to enforce it, Title 42 was the last remaining successful Trump-era border policy left in place. The decision un unveiled a week after Election Day immediately bars the Department of Homeland Security from enforcing the Title 42 anti-disease barrier at the border. Britbart News reported, the decision was approved by Emmett Sullivan, a far-left Democrat-nominated judge overseeing an ACLU lawsuit. The Federation for American Immigration Reform, FAIR, ripped the decision in a rip the decision in a statement. This decision, which takes effect immediately, knocks down one of the last remaining barriers to complete anarchy at the border. The Federation for American Immigration Reform wrote in a statement, if the Biden administration does not appeal, it will be one of the most egregious derelictions, derelictions of duty when it comes to border security once again proving that the crisis is deliberate, something they never intended to fix. Since President Joe Biden took office, Border Patrol agents have encountered more than 5.5 million illegal aliens. Unfortunately, with Joe Biden refusing to enforce the law, 
in Senate Majority Leader Chuck Schumer calling for amnesty for over 11 million illegal aliens, the Biden border crisis is only going to get even worse, especially now that the last successful Trump era policy has been removed. Stay tuned to Conservative Underground News for any updates on this ongoing story. Like I said, it just gets worse and worse and worse. And we all knew it would when he took the border down. That is not new to us. I mean, I gasp. I thought, what in the world is that man thinking? But then Pelosi, she come along, remember? She come along and she clued in. Well, we need immigrants here for workers. Cheap labor. And boost our people out of jobs that ask for higher wages. <sighs> the Biden administration just put parents in the crosshairs with a truly disturbing move. Now, I have not been through this, but I'm going to click it. See what comes up. I got a few minutes here. The Biden administration just put parents in the crosshairs with a truly disturbing move. The Biden administration is getting very authoritarian, authoritarian very quickly. Now he's going to tell you how to raise your children. Even Biden has questioned the constitutionality of his own actions before following through regardless. Now the Biden administration is putting parents in the crosshairs with a truly disturbing move. Donald Trump shined a light on the narrow Marxist ideology of critical race theory and the left has been scrambling ever since. First they argued the CRT didn't exist and it was simply racial sensitive sensitivity training. Then the left I voted to CRT being an arcane legal theory only taught at the university level. Finally, the left acknowledged the CRT was being implemented, but it was merely an accurate accounting of history, and it was a positive thing. But after parents and employees across the country learned about CRT themselves, they rejected it. Good for them. And now the Biden administration is responding by seeking S-I-C-C-I-N-G, psyching, psyching, sicking the FBI on parents who speak out against CRT at school board meetings. Now, I'm not sure what this one is here, but it's breaking news. Office of Attorney General, Washington, D.C. That was October 4th. So it's three weeks, or no, it's a month behind. Way two months, yes, almost seven, eight weeks behind. But it says Attorney General Merrick Garland has instructed the FBI to mobilize against parents who oppose critical race theory in public schools, citing threats. The letter follows the National School Board Association's request to classify protest as domestic terrorism. Now, I'm not quite sure what they're trying to get at here. The FBI has been under severe scrutiny over the past few years. The agency had its fingerprints all over the Russian gate hoax. One FBI lawyer already pleaded guilty to altering documents to secure a FISA court war warrant in order to surveil the Trump campaign. Let me read that again. The agency had its fingerprints all over the Russia Gate hoax. One FBI lawyer already pleaded guilty to altering documents to secure a FISA court warrant, warrant in order to surveil the Trump campaign. The feds were also heavily involved in the planning of the botched attempt to kidnap Michigan Governor Gretchen Whitmer. Now, I remember reading about that. The FBI's role was only uncovered because the lead agent on the operation was charged with domestic violence. 
So there is an ample reason for Americans to be skeptical of the FBI getting involved with the contingent school board meetings. Yeah, what are they doing? Don't they understand that this concerns their children too? So why are they getting involved? Is it to approve or disapprove? Parents don't want their children being indoctrinated with Marxist propaganda. And for their defiance, the FBI will be breathing down their necks. This might be the most authoritarian move the Biden administration has made in nine short months. Stay tuned, Conservative Underground News, for any updates on this ongoing story. My goodness. And that started in October. I just ran across it. Even though I'm almost two months late on it. It's got some interesting stuff in it. I don't understand half of it. Though, uh, what's the FBI leaning toward? What are they looking for? And why does it have to be concerned about race? You know, that kind of gets my goat when it comes to race subjects. It doesn't matter what color you are. We all have red blood. We all have a heart. We put on our clothes the same way as everybody else in any other color. Why are they now starting up with bringing this race situation back up? When Trump was in, we never had it. You know, some people might still be racist. You know, they might be. But I'm not. And in a way, I should be. But I won't explain that. I'm alive. I made it. I'm here. So, does that make me a racist? No. I don't care what color you are. If you're a good person inside and you love your Lord Jesus and you treat people with respect, that's all I need to know. I don't mind your color. I'm a painter. I love colors. Any color. Vibrant colors. Flashy colors. It don't make sense. We all came together through birth on one planet and did Jesus sit up there and say, well now, you're this color, so you go over here. You're that color, so you go over there now. We can't allow you to mingle. We can't allow you to act like uh, each other. No. Come on now. That's not the way the world was meant to be. There's good and bad in everybody. I don't care what color you are. There's good and bad in every animal. There's good and bad all over us. That was a fight between the heavens and the devil. Just don't go with the devil way. Go with the pure way, the respectful way of each other. Be helpful, be neighborly. But some people just sometimes, no matter what color you are, their mind doesn't function like it should. It's a medical, th uh, th um, whatever you want to call it, theory that these people that aren't quite, you know, um, respectful and carry a little hatred in them, maybe from child abuse, sexual abuse, you never know what their background is, how they were raised. Were they raised with warm, loving arms around them? Warm guidance through life with respect and dignity. We don't know. We'll never know why people do what people do. 
But that don't make us racist. <clears throat> oh, my goodness. Oh, my, 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 my. Well, I'm going to be right back. I made me some coffee. It's going to be a long night. <laughs> I just got to feel it. It's going to be a long night. God bless everybody. And I'll be back. Give someone else a blessing. I haven't said that yet tonight. And I'm ashamed of myself. Give someone else a blessing. Because you have been blessed.